All right, guys, I'm excited to share with you a Zen 104 that as soon as it dropped, I knew instantly that I had to have it. So I went ahead and did the pre-order. Now, when Zen does these limited edition 104s, they're usually very good looking because most 104s are very good looking. And um, there's only like a thousand made. So the first one was that green one, which I actually picked up. This one is the blue with the faux patina, I guess we can call it the faux patina. It looks, a, I went through and I looked at a bunch of pictures of faux patina and it's just, something's a little different with it. Maybe you guys can help me um, capture what is a little bit different with this type of color. Um, but it works extremely well with the polar white hands and then the blue. So, I mean, it's basically three colors um, with the exception of the black day and date wheels. It would be cool if those were color matched but I'm, I'm not mad at all about anything of this watch. I absolutely love it. I even prefer the bracelet, but I have to tell you, I've been wearing it on this strap and it, it, it's hogging all my wrist time. Yes, I'm certainly in a honeymoon with it, um, but I just feel like it's going to be a, a, a long honeymoon. So it comes in an oversized box here. It comes with an extra gray strap, um, the, the tool, and then extra spring bars too in this little... Uh, plastic case. Um, also in that package, it comes with its own book. So this is the 104 STSAABE, I guess. Um, and it's uh, got a bunch of information in here. And we're not going to go over it all because for the most part, you know, we get these and we just kind of stuff them off to the side and we don't really look at them. But if you guys want to see it, I can show it in another video. This is just going to be a little bit of a preview. I did a unboxing. I think I did an unboxing, but I just want to throw this out there real quick for you guys before I get into the full-on video and give some better video of it um, so you guys can anticipate yours coming in if you were one of the thousand that did. I did notice in my email, uh, WatchBuy sent out an update, <coughs> excuse me, an update because so many people were asking, where's my uh, Blues in 104? I'm seeing people get them and they want to know where theirs are. Thankfully, I must have been one of the first ones to put in that pre-order. So I was able to get that first run of them. I'm not sure how many they put out, but it probably wasn't very many. So they'll start trickling in throughout the um, next few months, I think, maybe even into summer. So hopefully you can be patient and um, just continue to, you know, maybe watch this video and look at pictures. And I'll put out another video soon again showing it. Um, and you are going to be rightfully, uh, in your excitement, you're going to be uh, happy once it arrives, for sure. Like, I've been wearing this all day today, so I was out helping my father-in-law make some maple syrup. Um, and uh, and I just, I cannot get this thing off wrist. I just, it, it goes with everything. I've been working, so it's I've been wearing my uniform, my work clothes. Uh, but I think this will work good with casual or probably even dress it up if I need to, but um, the Zen 104s are just such a good watch, whatever colorway you pick, but certainly if you can grab a limited edition one like this, or even the green one, and I suspect maybe every year around Basel, because that's when they released that green one, was right at Basel World 2020, and everybody was so focused on all the other new Rolex and Tudor, they, no one paid attention to the, the awesome green Zen that was out, well, with all the... Uh, cancellations of the watch shows I think uh, Zen decided just to throw it out there anyway and man they sold fast of course personally I think this is a better looking one than the green what that's going to be you know subjective to whatever your tastes are um, but I think most of you guys are going to agree that this is a killer looking one it'll be hard for them to top this but I suspect that they might be able to do so uh, next year 2021 maybe you, you wait around and pick up who knows maybe they'll do a red dial you know I could see them doing some sort of crazy, not like your standard red, but maybe something funky. Because um, the Zen 104 is an awesome seller for Zen and watch buys in the United States. And they have unlimited potential with this watch. So if you guys have any questions or you want to see something uh, in better detail, let me know. This one's going to be sticking around for a while. I'm actually selling off some other watches. And I'm trying to focus my collection a little bit. And this one has... Uh, a solid position in the lineup. So let me uh, shut the lights off. I'll give you a loom shot. And then I'm out of here.
So you can see there, the Arabics are loomed, the little uh, dots outside of the Arabics are loomed, the handset and the triangle up there on the, uh, that's a bi-directional bezel, by the way, if you're not aware of that. Like I said, I'll do a full-on video. This is just kind of a sneak peek because um, I really want to just get this video out there so you guys can see it. But the loom's really good. It's a little bit brighter on the handset and the uh, triangle than the Arabics, but still really good loom considering it's almost like this weird faux patina type material. It's, uh, it's loomed out pretty good. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next vid.